Welcome back to Christ-Centered Christian Animation. We are at part 8 of this 10-part series. In this episode, we will see the love of God, that He is a restorer of souls, for His name's sake. He is indeed a covenant-keeping God, who desires to give beauty for ashes. He shows that indeed, His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts, than our thoughts. That He is up to something, thus showing, He is a God who will work all things together for the good, of those who love Him and are the called according to his purpose. Now, let's get to the story. Thank God you were okay. Rod told me what happened, the doctor checked you and you are fine, you were just shocked, and you fainted. Where is Mr. Rod now? Was I dreaming when he told me that he and I have the same grandmother? You were not dreaming, based on what I told you, and he told me, the possibility seemed to be 100%. He is speaking with Pastor and then he said that he have to go back to his office to take care of some stuff, and then he is going to drop me to my place, and then take you to see his grandmother afterwards. So it was not a dream, how could you just tell me not long ago about what the Lord told you about me, and as I mentioned it to him, he now said this to me. I hope that he is not messing with me because I confessed to him what I did to you. No Katharina, I do not think so, what would be his gain? He is a businessman, why would he waste his time? Besides, I was the one you wronged not him, I believe with their resource and wealth, if it was not so, he would have not said it. Because that is wasting his time, and hurting his grandmother, I do not believe he would do that to her, seeing that both her children are no more. If she turns out to be my grandmother, then it is a miracle from God. Look how the enemy used me against you. But look how the Lord would have turned things around for good, so much so that it is possible, that I will find my family. I am in shock, I cannot believe how I was planning to search with the phone book, and just like that the Lord did this, well I guess I will see what will happen later today. Oh, I forgot to ask, did you ask him about helping you to go and see your grandfather? Yes, I did, I explained how urgent it was, and so he volunteered to take me tomorrow. Oh Pamela, that is really wonderful, God will help your grandfather. Just imagine, when he sees you, and you tell him who you are. I can only hope and pray that he will listen. Anyway, how do you feel that you might see your mother's mom later today? I am of two minds, I am both scared and excited, I do not know what to expect. It's going to be great Katharina, I cannot wait for you to tell me what happened. Even if you will be there all night. I will stay up all night if I have to, until I get the call from you. I do not want you to stay up all night, you need to rest, so I will call you as soon as I can to let you know how things are going. That reminds me, let me go and call my landlady before she start to auction off my things. I had a small nest egg, I will send her the rent from it right away. Okay, go and do that, it will give me a chance to pray and thank the Lord. Meanwhile, So you have intention towards Sister Pamela, you said that you are in love with her. Yes Pastor, I told myself, that I would never marry, because of an experience I had, I was content with being an eligible bachelor for life, but over this past month, I have fallen madly in love with Pamela. Have you told her? No Pastor, I did not get a chance to do so as yet. I have to run to my office now, to take care of some business. Then, pop home quickly to shower and change. Then, I will come back here, drop Pamela to her place, and then I have to take Katharina, to see my grandmother. I don't understand, is it Katharina, or is it Pamela that you are in love with? Pamela of course. Then why are you taking Katharina to see your grandmother? It's a long story, but I will give you the short version, because I have to run. Rod told Pastor Grant, about the conversation he had with Katharina, and how they could be first cousins. Pastor Grant was surprised, and then he said, Indeed, the Lord work in mysterious ways, wonders to perform, and to think how God turned around a bad situation for good, he is worthy to be praised. I even made a promise in my heart I would give myself to the Lord, if Katharina turned out to be my cousin. This would make my grandmother very happy, because this has been her prayer for me, for years, that I would surrender to God, and find a wife and settle down. 
I even thought that you are here you could pray for me. Do you want me to pray for you to accept Jesus? Rod thought about it, thought about the reason why he never felt to, and it all came back to him. He told Pastor Grant. My parents were devout believers, and they gave their all to support the work of God, and yet they were not spared by God. It angered me for years, I was only 18 years when they were gone just like that, and so I had a lot of anger, in fact, I had just visited them, when I went to the bar afterwards to drink where I met Pamela. But like my grandmother always say, there are no coincidences with God, everything that unfold, just seemed to fall into place pastor. So yes pastor, I am feeling a pull, towards God, please pray for me. Pastor Grant prayed for Rod, and then Rod accepted Jesus into his heart. Then Pastor Grant said, Welcome to the family of God brother Rod. May the Lord be with you now and forever. I pray he will do a deep healing in your heart about your parents' death. Many people are mad at God, but many times things are not what they seem, and often times God will warn us of what's to come, because he said that he will not keep his servants in darkness. I cannot say why your parents were taken in that manner, but one thing I know for sure, the Lord will make you understand it all one day. May the Lord strengthen you, and as for Pamela, I pray that she will say yes, because, the way things unfold, the way you both met, I do believe that the Lord have a great purpose for both your lives together. If indeed, Katharina is your first cousin, and based on what you told me, I believe she is, then although the enemy meant for bad, look how much good came out of it. You giving your life to the Lord, you finding a wife to be in Pamela, and then you finding your cousin, believed to be dead long time ago. What an awesome God, it is indeed a privilege to serve him. No wonder David said, for us to taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you for those words pastor, I am really sorry, I have to run. Wow, look at the time, I am going to be 10 minutes late for my office. Thank you so much for praying for me pastor, and please keep me in prayer, so that I do not keep any bitter thoughts inside me against God, because of my parents death. I really need a prayer for that pastor, and perhaps a deep healing. Thank you for your honesty, I believe that the Lord will help you. I will labor in prayer for that request brother Rod. The Lord go with you in Jesus name. Meanwhile, hours away out of the city. Get off my property, before I get you arrested. You are all hypocrites, who ask you to come here, talking about Jesus loves me. Did he tell you that he loved me? Did you think by saying that to me? I was going to give you money. Get away from here. Mo, Mo, money. I am not here about money, I am here to tell you that the Lord loves you, he really loves you. So you refuse to get off my property, okay wait here for me. Jerry went back into his home, but by the time he came back out, the pastor was gone. So you grew some sense and leave, I would have dealt with you this day. Jesus loves me. Really? Did he tell you that? What did I do for him to love me? None of you so-called pastor, so-called Christians are ever welcome at my home. I am doing well by myself. I do not need anyone. Why are you moving around so much? Are you okay? Not really, I am a mess. I feel as if I am going to burst. Thank you so much for dropping me home so that I could freshen up and change. Don't mention it dear cousin. Please, don't say that, because what if that is not the case? We will know soon enough, my friend Dr. Bob, already took both our blood, and he will come by later after his shift to take my grandmother's, but for me it is just a formality, but I do believe like my grandmother that we are relatives. It would make us very very happy. I would be happy as well, I just do not want to get my hopes up too much. Do you mind if I stay quiet the rest of the drive? Not at all. I have to give my grandmother a call to let her know that we are half hour away. Meanwhile... Okay Rod, I will see you soon. Oh, I forgot to tell him that I found his mother's diary in a box from my attic, that I asked the help Vicky to bring down for me. I cannot wait for Rod to get here because he was always very angry, at how they serve God and how they were taken, just like that with no warning. Her last entry shocked me, and I believe that it will help Rod to see God into a different light, and maybe it will help him to surrender his life to him. 
Grandma Leah did not know that Pastor Grant prayed for Rod, and he gave his life to the Lord, though he was still dealing with coming to terms with his parents' untimely death. As she was there thinking about these things, she heard the doorbell, and it was Rod and Katharina. The moment she laid eyes on Katharina, she knew that she was Deborah's daughter. She hugged her and asked her to sit by her while Rod sat in the armchair. She kept staring and straying at Katharina. She said the DNA will just be a formality, but I believe that you are my granddaughter. Katharina hugged her and cried uncontrollably and then she said, You know why I cried so much? I recently gave my life to God, and I felt his love as the pastor prayed for me, but for as long as I can remember, I always felt like I did not belong, as I cried and embraced you Grandma Leah, I felt it all go away. I can only pray now, that the test result will confirm that you are indeed my family. I believe that you are my granddaughter Katharina, because that is your name, you have the same face of my granddaughter Kathleen whom everyone thought perish in the bus accident with her mother, my daughter Deborah. Not to mention, the way the Lord allowed things to unfold, I have no doubt whatsoever, that you are my granddaughter. The Lord knew how much I missed my daughter, and he picked the right time to send a blessing in you to lift my spirit. I send Vicky my help in the attic, to get bring out your mother's box. I was surprised to see among them was your mother things, my daughter-in-law. Sherika's diary. I believed that I had everything put up there, because of my grief, I could not bring myself to look at it, or go through anything, but I wanted to get something of Deborah to give to you, to maybe help your memory. For some reason, I felt to look into Sherika's diary, this was something, I never did before, when they brought the personal effects, after your parents' home was sold, those things, I just had them put up in the attic. I felt drawn to read her diary, and when I did, I was shocked at her last entry. Take a look, Rod. Rod took a look at the last entry in his mother's diary. What? They both felt an uneasy feeling that they should not leave home that day, and even their pastor called them that he had more people than he needed to put the Christmas boxes together. They should not have left home that day. They left home, and on their way, the accident. To think I was a bit mad at God for not protecting them after all that they did for his work but they had three warnings that they ignored. From my mother, my father, and from their pastor, they were not to have gone out that night. I was devastated at the news, it was a very horrible time for me. I must admit, I blamed God, and would have spent the rest of my life blaming him. My dear grandson, if I did not know the Lord I would have felt the same way, because of what happened to my two children. Because it was sudden, and unexpected for both of them, it could have caused me to question where God was and why he did not intervene. But I also know that many times we ignore God's warning us, telling us not to go somewhere, or do certain things, and we ignore those warnings. Just like I felt strongly not to marry my husband, but it was after marriage, I learned many things that he was in that affected us as a family. God warned me, but because I was getting older, I ignored the warnings. My dears, my God is sovereign. Look at how my grandbaby that I thought to have died, how he brought her back to us. Life as a Christian isn't easy. But God promised to strengthen us, deliver us, and restore our soul, as he leads us along the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Over the years as I regretted marrying Ralston, the Lord showed me through you Rod, and many many situations, and even now with him bringing back Kathleen to us, that all things does work together for good. The enemy may have meant for you and I to be bitter and angry, but when we are truly surrendered to God, then we easily cast all cares upon him, he has helped me through all my difficulties, I can rely on him, and so I trust him in all things. I pray the day that you will give him your life rod, please do not wait too long. I already did grandma. His grandmother was very surprised, and so Rod explained what happened at the hospital, and how Pastor Grant prayed for him. He also told her that I have some other news. He said, I have fallen in love with Pamela, and I am going to ask her to marry me. Both Grandma Leah and Katharina was very shocked at what Rod said, but as Rod explained how much he loved her and for the first time in his life, he wants to settle down, his grandmother said, Glory to God, indeed this day keep getting better and better, 
God sure knows how to restore souls, for his name's sake. As Grandma Leah glorify God, Katharina said. This is too wonderful, my friend, my sister, will indeed be family, I hope that she says yes. She will say yes. My cries and my prayers have not been in vain. All my pain and tears have been for a purpose. God was saying, you think it's all over. You will see how I'm going to surprise you, in one day, I will answer your by giving an unexpected reunion to you, I know you miss your daughter, but I will lift your spirit when you see her daughter. He was saying to me, I have good things in mind for you, ah. Uh, wonderful things, despite what you went through, my desire is to restore your soul, and flood you with my goodness. Out of the ashes, I have brought beauty. So when you feel discontent or a disconnection from God, you must trust him, even in grief, because only he knows the bogger picture, that is what the future holds. He knew that I would disobey him and choose the wrong spouse, yet he still bless my womb, and before my children were taken tragically, he allowed them to bore me two beautiful grand baby, a boy and a girl, who are sitting here with me right now, causing me to be filled with joy. Kathleen, I have so much to tell you about your mother, she was an incredible human being, with the biggest heart, I am not saying it because she is my daughter, I am saying it because it is true. I can only tell you what I know about her, but I pray that God will bring back your memory completely, and make you see who she really was. I am so in awe of my God, so I say to him right now, Lord, please help us to persevere and overcome, that we might be with you there in the place you are preparing for us, when I reunite with my children. My father, let it be so, let us serve you with joy, despite of what will come, or what we will go through, because you know what the future, holds, or will bring, and you can change our sadness in a moment, giving us beauty for ashes. Look at how you have blessed me today my God. What love, you have for your children. Help us to see that always my Lord, despite of what a day may bring. Thank you for my Rod and Kathleen, thank you, that they have given their lives to you. Lord please keep them, help them to walk in humility, living surrendered lives to you. You truly hear and answer prayers, and even surprise me with the answer. Thank you, why Father for favoring me this way. I bless your precious name Amen. Amen. Kathleen, I would love it if you would spend the night, there are some stuff that belongs to your mother, that I would love for you to go through, maybe it could trigger your memory. Please say yes you will spend the night. Sure if it is okay with Rod. Okay with me. Our grandmother want you to spend the night. I have no problem whatsoever with that. I say because the DNA still have to confirm who I am. The DNA is just a formality. But you are my granddaughter, Deborah's daughter. I believe that when you go through your mother's things it will trigger your memory. There is a music box that she always play all the time. She like it so much. It is also up in the attic somewhere. Help me bring some things that belong to her, I believe it is going to help you. Meanwhile, Timothy, I am at a loss for words with all that you told me took place, so our Pamela might be marrying Mr. Rod. My dear it's not might, it is very serious, and now that he gave his LFE to the Lord, they will not be unequally yoked. I believe that the Lord orchestrated it all especially with the way things unfold. How the enemy had her bound in chains for years, but our God set her free and deliver her, she deserve all the happiness. In a few days we will also find out, if Katharina is indeed Kathleen. I believe that she is, but the DNA will officially confirm it. Let us now lift Pamela up in prayer, as she is will be going tomorrow to see her grandfather. Heavenly Father I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you Lord for what you did today Lord, especially for WHT you did for Pamela, rising her up from that bed healed and whole. Father, she will be going first thing tomorrow to see her grandfather, only you know what will take place. From what she told me, it's going to be a bit difficult, but nothing is impossible to you my lord, who specialize in making impossible thing, possible. You see, and you know all hearts including that of Pamela's grandfather. He has been through a lot from what you showed Pamela, coming back from the choice of his grandfather, and now he has equals is affected until now. Father I pray your delivering power upon him, that you will soften his heart, so that he can obtain your blessing, the free gift of salvation. Only your Lord can tell him the truth, open his eyes Lord and show him his true condition. 
Father I pray that he will respond positively, so that the hindrance that held him back will be gone, and he will be set free. Visit him tonight Father, open up his heart today, place in your heart of flesh spoken about in Ezekiel 36, 26-28, Father place your spirit within him and cause him to walk in your statutes. Show him that the enemy's power over him is broken, help him Father to surrender all things to you, in Jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. The next day. Thank you so much for taking me to see my grandfather, I appreciate it very much. I am glad to be able to do this for you Pamela. There are so much that I am very grateful to you for, all that you did for me over this past month, bring me to your own private hospital, and causing me to get the best around the clock care. You could have left me in the street to die, but you took compassion upon me. Thank you so much, I am truly truly grateful. You have my deepest gratitude. I am glad that I was able to help. Assist, I have ulterior motive. Motive? Why? There is something very serious I would like to say to you, but I will wait until after you see your grandfather, we are almost there, are you nervous? Not at all, the Lord told me how he is, so I believe he has given me the wisdom, in how to approach him, and the very words to say to him. Well here we are, this is the street. As soon as you park, I will say a quick prayer to the Lord. I believe that I should go alone, you could wait in the car. Let me pray quickly. My dear Heavenly Father, the one who is a deliverer, the one who knows all things about everyone, the one who reveals to heal. Here I am in my grandfather's home, only you alone knows how things will unfold, and so I give everything into your hands. Father help him to be receptive, so that your healing can come into his life. Thank you for what you will do very soon, in Jesus mighty name Amen. Bye and thank you for watching, it is our prayer that you are being blessed by this series, be sure to like and share. See you soon in the next one, have a wonderful day.